What's up everybody? Uh, Ty Dynamite here doing a quick tutorial for you guys. Um, I just wanted to take a second to do a, a tutorial for a pitch build that I've been using uh, a sound that I've built in Massive. <clears throat> um, I know there's a lot of different ways to do these these pitch builds and and they're great for risers and a way to to add tension into your songs. Um, there's a ton of different ways to do them. You can just basically do them with operator or analog or any synth basically that you want. I like to use Massive um, and I know there's a few other Massive tutorials out there that kind of talk about you know just changing it to legato um, and monophonic and all that all that stuff but I don't feel that any of the tutorials on YouTube right now um, give you enough control over your synth because that's really what you want um, in building your riser so I've kind of made my own um, and, and I just designed it my own way so that I have the most control that I can and can kind of make it do exactly what I want it to do and go from which key to which key in whatever the amount of time that I want. Um, so I'll play the sound for you of course right now so that you can hear it. Um, and it's a sound that I've used in another track, you know, my Escaping to the Stars mix. Um, and I'll play that, I'll play it for you first live um, or by itself and then I'll play it for you in context so you can see kind of how I use it. So as you can see, it's just that, that typical rising sound that you hear in, in a lot of electronic tracks. Um, so I'll play it for you again now in context. That was that was one one use of it kind of in context um, with only a few elements around it and this is kind of it in a little more context with a little bit more elements around it you can still pick it up but it kind of likes to sit in the background and just it adds that overall rising feeling to your song it just really brings it like you're you're coming to this this big epic moment. <laughs> So that's the sound we're going to make. Um, if you don't like it, well, then turn the tutorial off and don't watch, obviously. Um, so let's get into it. Um, like I said, I use, I'll use i take you through start to finish what I use. Um, so I just come in here to my plugins, and I'm just going to drag in a massive sound. And so what opens up automatically is just the basic, um, the basic massive, obviously. Um, for this, I'm going to use a square build. It's typically what a lot of people use in electronic songs is, is the build's going to be square. Um, so I'm going to pull this back from square to saw all the way to square. And you know what I just noticed? I never brought my BPMs up on my, on my um, track, so I brought that up right now. And that's why that song was playing a little slower. So what I like to do is an 8-bar build. Um, that's what typically most of mine are. That's the one I made before, so we'll do that right now. So I just basically Apple Shift M created a MIDI clip. Um, so now I'm gonna come in here to this MIDI clip, and I I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure this song was in the key of A. Um, so I'll do it. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an eight bar long um, MIDI note in the key of A, and I'd like to draw my MIDI note first and even map my envelope first so that when I go into massive 
I can just tweak the sounds as I want and just listen to it play as I tweak the sounds. So right now we should just have something pretty not moving or anything, just, just a standard tone, right? Okay, so what we're going to do next is we just, um, is we're going to map this MIDI knob right here to massive. And what this is going to be, this is going to be our end value. Um, however many octaves up in the pitch scale we want to end at. And I'm just going to push this up to maybe about, uh, let's go up 36. Uh, yeah, let's go up to 36. And um, right now it's starting at, I believe, A3, but I want to start it at about A2, so I'll pull this down. So now this control is, when this is, when this is at 0, it's going to be at negative 12, and when this is all the way up, it's going to be at positive 36. So let's listen to what that does. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to work with. Um, for what we're going to start with. Um, oops. Uh, the next thing we want to do is draw in our envelopes. To draw in your envelopes, you have to get the parameter to show up here um, in the panel. So I'm just going to click configure and I'm going to highlight that number two right there. I'm going to close that. So now that number two is right there in our panel and now we can go into our enveloping. I'm going to turn this all the way up to 100 or 0.49 whatever, all the way up. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click the envelope button. So now this is our, as we can see, massive number two. So when this is at eight bars, we want this bar, this, um, this massive knob to be all the way up. So this is that same knob that we're controlling. We're just automating it to go up with the eight bars. Okay. Um, I think it goes a little bit high. I want to start it maybe a little bit lower and end it a little bit lower as well. Good, so you can hear that kind of climbing. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to map this MIDI knob to a whole bunch of effects and you can choose whatever effects in here that you want to really give it that big build. Um, so what I like to do obviously is a reverb and I like to bring the dry wet down a little bit and then push it really heavy and I like to do it with the size same thing but I don't push it as far we're going to do the density and the color We might be able to push this one up even a little bit more. So we're getting there. Next thing we're going to do is I like to add a little bit of a phaser. Um, I like to keep the dry wet fairly low. and then bring it up to about there. And then I like to really push the rate to go really fast so it's gonna kinda give me more of like a, a panning effect as it gets as it goes up. Kinda really push it hard to the left and to the right. And really add some depth. tell um, how much more control you have over your synth over your riser doing it in this method instead of just picking a preset and then sort of um, 
uh, picking a preset and then just, you know, changing it to monophonic or legato or whatever, um, you know, you can change any of the parameters. That's just, this was just a quick basic overview of, of how I do it. Um, you can also add a low pass filter on because I noticed we were catching a lot of highs. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to to message me or or hit me up on SoundCloud, uh, SoundCloud.com slash Tide Dynamite, um, or whatever. I'd be happy to answer uh, any of your questions or or comments that you might have. So I'll just play this first breakdown. <laughs>